How's it going 3D printers? Andrew Sink from 3D Central here, and today I'm here to show you this. And this is the Flexi Hand 2 uploaded by Gyrobot onto Thingiverse to be part of the Enable project. And Enable, for those of you not aware, is a group of volunteers who create 3D models, modify them, distribute them, and eventually fit them to amputees and people who are missing limbs and they're all volunteers who make these models and 3D print them. It's a really fascinating and exciting group and we've been working with them since 2014. In fact, one of the first batches of hands that we made for them had an assembly video that was featured in the New York Times article, Hands of a Superhero. How cool is that? We've even been visited here at 3D Central by Maria Escuela, one of the founding members of the Enable Community Foundation from back in 2014, and she was here recently to talk about future projects and how to get 3D Central more involved with Enable, something we're really excited to do. In addition to the Flexi Hand 2, there's all sorts of other hands and arms and limbs that are available through the Enable program, and we've actually made some of these and outfitted them on real people in Richmond, Virginia, and done this as a service to the community. It's something that we really, really love doing. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to assemble the Flexi Hand 2. And for this particular hand, we printed almost the entire thing on a Lullspot Mini using NinjaFlex filament. So all of the joints are actually printed out using flexible filament, as well as the fingers and the entire palm unit. So the entire thing is stretchy and the whole hand is fully articulated. And it has a really nice feel to it and it's actually functional. So the gauntlet can actually stretch down and there's all sorts of adjustable tensioners on it. And it's one of these exciting projects that you can work on and modify and play with and share your results. So, you ready? Let's do it. Here are all the pieces that you'll need. In addition to the palm and the gauntlet, you'll also need to print out all of the fingers, hinges, and the individual tensioners. We printed our fingers, palm, and hinges in NinjaFlex on our Lulzbot Mini, so everything would be flexible and have a little bit of give to it. Make sure you keep all of your fingers separated so none of the joints get mixed up. The first thing you're going to want to do is use the individual hinges to slide into all of the fingers and slowly start assembling the fingers one by one. Once you have one finger assembled, go ahead and repeat the process for all five. Once the fingers are assembled, it's time to attach them to the palm using the large finger joints. Now, when I posted a picture of the work in progress, Gyrobot was kind enough to actually point out I had installed the hinges upside down on my model, so you'll notice the fingers have kind of a downward tilt to them, and that was corrected later after I uninstalled the hinges and flipped them upside down. So when you install them, you want them to be pointing upwards, as seen in the diagram. To attach the gauntlet, press the hinges into the palm and make sure there's a firm connection between the two. You can also put a little bit of CA glue in if you want a firm connection. Once attached, place the opposite end of the hinge into the gauntlet. Now it's time to thread a small amount of nylon fishing wire through the holes in each finger. And this is what's used to actually close the finger and give the articulating motion when the wrist is closed. Once the fishing line has been threaded completely through the fingertip, roll it back on itself and tie it into a knot, sealing it off at the end. Once the fishing line has been threaded all the way through the palm, tie it back onto the tensioner block at the end of the gauntlet. Tie a knot at the end of the tensioner block and then use a screw to thread into the tensioner and tighten it to adjust until the finger articulates freely. Now repeat this process for the four remaining fingers.
great. Now you know how to build your own flexi hand too. This is a great project. And if you can find somebody who needs one of these and they've signed up through the Enable website and they're looking for something like this, it's a fantastic way to test your 3D printing skills as well as your general CAD knowledge. How do you scale parts and how do you fit them and how do you redesign them? It's just a great way to get involved with the community and also to push your 3D printing knowledge. If you found this video helpful in assembling your Flexi Hand 2, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment with any questions you have about creating other similar prosthetics. It's something that we've done a lot of. We've made several different versions for several people and all are slightly different, so it's always a different process every time. As always, thanks for watching and have fun printing.